What's up, Pandu? It's Peter Mom Panda here. What's up? Yo! Yo, Cam. Hey, I just bought this Yo Cam, and uh, I'm actually going to do a few videos on uh, wearable cameras. This one's by Mofili, and it's called the Yo Cam. And as you can see, I think I got it in black. I tried getting it in black, at least. Yeah, perfect. Cool. And here it is. It's a wearable camera. And the reason I got this, you know, there are a ton of wearable cameras out there. Um, let me go to my soapbox for a minute. Uh, what I wanted to get is a wearable camera that shoots high def. Something I could clip to my shirt or you know wear around my neck or something like that or a hat or whatever. One to get a first person perspective, but there's a lot of times when I'm shooting video and I just don't feel not comfortable taking it, but it just get, gets a lot of attention. You know, like when I was in the United Lounge, what you don't want to be is that guy walking around with your camera in front of you. Everyone looks up at that, you know, and not that they really give a rip, but it's just a little, I think it's a little rude to everyone and it just makes you stand out. You know, like when I shoot a hotel or something and I'm walking around the lobby holding camera, it just kind of freaks everyone out, right? And so a wearable camera to me has that advantage. Now, I'm not saying wearable cameras are brilliant. You know, I think a lot of police are gonna start wearing body cameras, uh, but they, they do allow you to capture video without being so obvious. Now, uh, the, the problem with them is one image stabilization. So often the video looks crappy because especially it's getting knocked around a lot too. Um, a lot of the wearable cameras are meant to capture a lot of video or a lot of images, but not in high resolution. So they really shoot at like low resolution. Um, a lot of them are even lower than 720, like 480, which is kind of amazing. The um, the YoCam is one of the few that seems to capture in 1080p. Now, I've also ordered another one called Front Row Camera, uh, which tends to have better specs, but it was also more expensive. So we'll try that out too. But, you know, maybe this one will uh, be a really good option. So, as you can see, it's not that big. It's pretty small. And I'm not talking about, like, covert videoing, right? I'm talking about putting this uh, on your body, on a strap for uh, your backpack or something like that, and being able to capture video without just being looking like a douche. All right, looks like we have a little lanyard hole up there. Uh, it, it's kind of like, I don't know, like a Pez dispenser or something. Uh, you know, it seems like solid plastic construction. It's kind of more of that ruggedized plastic a little bit. Looks like here's where we have a pop-open port with, um, you know what? I think there's an SD card in here, maybe it looks like. Yeah, it looks like there is. Now, I don't know that this comes with the SD card. I actually bought this um, on eBay, I believe. And so whoever sold it to me may have left their SD card in here. Um, so don't don't count on that. You know, I was just trying to save myself a few bucks while picking it up. Um, micro USB right there. Looks like there's a QR code. And then it, this looks like it's kind of providing a little bit of water resistance. Although I would say just kind of splash resistance, if anything. Looks like there's a Wi-Fi button here, some LED lights, and then the power button as well. Obviously, the camera is front and center. Here is a button to start uh, recording and stop recording, as well as the shutter button. And so, as you can see, fixed lens, and then there's a little bit of that uh, uh, plastic around the button here, and that, I believe, is gonna give you the illumination of whether you're taking a photo, I think, which is blue, or it's gonna glow red if you're taking video. Now, if you're really trying to take kind of subtle video, quiet video, if that's glowing red, that's gonna be kind of a telltale sign as you're walking around and people see it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Again, not not a problem from my perspective, but just maybe a problem for, for you, Creeper. Looks like we have a micro USB cable here, flat and pretty small, or short, I should say, kind of like myself. And then we also have, oh, it looks like this is the lanyard. Looks like it's not even opened yet. And then here we also have a clip. And this is kind of what I was excited about because we do have a, a receiving screw here for mounting it to a camera, you know, a tripod or something like that. And that's obviously going to be a little camera on a lot of tripod, but that allows it to accept this accessory here, which looks like it is a clip that screws in the bottom here. It's got a metal clip on the back and I'll just put that on and now what you'll notice is that we have this pretty long clip it's not super like it's long and I'm sure it'll be nice and so like flat metal nice and grippy but it's not super hard to get up so you you can probably get this around a backpack strap your shirt or whatever now I think in the app so once we get this bad boy set up and start recording uh, you can have it kind of do auto orientation right so if I clip it on sideways or clip it on my pants like this so it's facing that way or clip vertically, I think it'll auto orient and um, record the video in the, you know, the correct orientation. Now, what I don't know is often, you know, these cameras are set up so that even, you know, they're, they're kind of set up to film 
one way, right? And so when you turn them, it it kind of crops it. So I, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not sure if like the sensor here is really a complete square and it's just kind of cropping the top and the bottom always to to kind of create your your widescreen view, or if it's going to be lower resolution depending on if it's on auto rotate or not. I I don't know, but we will take some video and I will take them in various orientations here and we'll compare those. Now, I wanna see if we've got a little charge. I'm assuming we do. Looks like if I just hold the power button there, that little light comes on. Okay, and uh, there were some audible tones there as well. And it looks like it's probably on. Now, if I just tap this. I don't know what's happening. Okay, there we go. I think, as you can see there, oops, there we go. It's red and blinking, and kind of like an old school camcorder, right? That red blinking light is the sign that it's taking video. Woohoo! Are you taking video right now? I hope so. And then if I hit this again, probably video off. Okay, now I thought if I just tapped it, I guess it looks like it's going to video. Um, if I hold it down, I wonder if it'll take a photo or something. Nope, seems to take video. All right, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't know if tapping, okay. Now, all right, so I'm just learning on the fly here. I think this blue light means it's in photo mode. I think I took a photo there. Let's see if I do this one. Hey! All right, so hopefully now I have a few photos. So it looks like you just tap the power button to kind of toggle between video and photo mode, all right? And then hold, turn it off like this. And then I'm assuming that little Wi-Fi video looks like it goes through a whole audio sequence there as it shuts down. Um, this Wi-Fi button here will be uh, for communicating with your iPhone and the app to uh, to control this. Now, you can see there's the, the microphone buttons right there. Um, so hopefully the audio and the video is good. I'm not expecting it to be phenomenal, but I'm wondering if it'll be good enough for, you know, when I go to a uh, the auto show or when I'm taking a tour of a hotel or uh, at a sporting event, if I can get some video footage there. You know, and to be honest, you know, wearable cameras, I think, have a lot of other value, too. You know, when you have family events or are, you know, um, uh, on a tour or on vacation, you know, you don't know what you want to get, right? You just don't want to miss those events. So you can record a lot, clip it to you. You're not looking like a fool with your camera or trying to record everything um, and then kind of select those moments out later. So let's go take some video and see what it looks okay, like. Okay, so for example, I have the... Uh the camera oriented vertically here and as you can see if I rotate it it it's not correct all right guys so we're outside now um, I do have this on a video recording I did go ahead and pair it to my um, phone first and then you actually have to connect it to the Wi-Fi uh, you know hotspot that the YoCam is broadcasting on and that's where you can change the setting now I noticed that in the settings I can set this to 2.7 K uh, resolution um, so I can record in kind of a pretty high def range but it, what it does is um, it does two things if it, you do that it uh, will only let you record at 30 frames per second and you can't turn on the mo the most steady mode which I think is kind of the uh, the digital image stabilization so I don't think there's any optical image stabilization we'll find out um, but I think it does use uh, digital image stabilization, and that is available if you go down to 1080. So I have it set on 1080 right now. I also set it on auto white balance, and I also set it on auto rotate, that feature that I was talking about. So one of the things that I'm going to do now is let's go for a little walk here and hold it here. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it on my hand. You know, I'm kind of holding it right in front of my chest right now. Um, and we'll just see if that provides any better or worse image quality but it is vertically oriented and hopefully the picture is correct you know that way because this is how we actually started when I hit video recording so there it is I can still see the little um, polycarbonate ring around the button flashing in red but it's actually really really dim you know I, I'll be honest if you were taking this camera out and clipping it to your shirt and walking around like a conference or a trade show or, you know, an event or something like that, I don't think it would be really distracting for people. Um, you know, if you were, like, 
recording your day and at the Walmart and went up to the cashier and was checking out, she might kind of see it. It's like a slow pulse. It's like flash on, flash off, flash on. So it's pretty slow. It's not like a fast blinking light to grab your attention, but especially in the light out here right now, it's, you know, it looks like just kind of a dull pink. So it's kind of one of those things. I always kind of worry about the lights on there because if I am trying to record something and not you know, be really obvious about it, be pretty stealth. I wouldn't even want a, a flashing light or maybe just something on the corner or something like that that I could see to make sure that it's actually working. But in this case, uh, that's what it's doing. So hopefully, you know, this works pretty well. We'll find out. Um, I'll also compare it, I guess, once I pick up my, uh, or once I get my front row camera delivered because I'm looking forward to that one. That's supposed to record in 2.7K with an optical image stabilization, but I will tell you that this Yocam is so much cheaper than that. Um, you know, if this is even in the ballpark, you know, I think this was like oh, $130 and the front row cam is going to be $400. So, you know, it's a third of the cost and hopefully if it's 80% of the value, it could be a, a great option if you need, you know, a wearable camera, maybe. Mophili, Yo Camp, Peter Van Panda, out.